Greetings YouTube, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring the Garam Seath Waterway. If you enjoy watching, please don't forget to hit the like button and check the video description for more of my Final Fantasy walkthrough. While we've got Pinello in the party, we could actually go ahead and take on that hunt that we collected earlier on. But in my opinion, it's still a little bit too challenging and we're better off waiting until there's at least three people in our party. But if you do want to attempt it with just the two of you, you'll want to do so now because Pinello is going to be leaving uh, for a little while in a moment or two. So we're going to head back into Low Town and make our way back to the old man. I forget his name, Dallin or something. Uh, just make sure I'm going to grab some of these treasures if I see them. I'm not going to go out my way. I have shown you where the treasure chests are located in this area. So check back in episode 2 or 3 I think it was when I showed that. Episode 3. It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. There goes Pinello, as we just suggested would take place. She would be leaving. And we're just going to go ahead immediately and speak to Dallin here. Or old Dallin, as he's more eloquently known. And yes, we do have the Sunstone after the quest we completed in the previous episode. Now you wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Van Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garam Scythe waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> that is a sick laugh. Anyhow, we've obtained the crescent stone, which is exactly what we needed in order to make our way into the secret uh, entrance to the, in, through to the palace. So we're going to head back into... Well, into a cutscene by the looks of things. Squads three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. A mysterious character. Be interesting to find out who that is. Of course, if like me, you've played before, you'll know exactly who it is. But I don't want to spoil it for those that don't. 
Anyhow, back in low town here and once again in control of Varn. We're going to be making our way to the objective marker, which is just to the northwestern part of the town. And don't forget those treasures have a chance of respawning, so keep an eye out for them, such as one that's right here. 13 gil. How much gil do we have? 372. We did spend quite a bit of it earlier on. Let's speed things up just a tad here. And make our way over to the left hand side and here we are. And here we're going to meet up with Kite. He was acting as if he was going to send us on another objective hunt, but he was only winding us up. And some potions and eye drops as well for our trouble. And at this point we can just make our way through to the storehouse. Just checking there's no loot in this little area before we do go in though. Can't see anything. So let's head on inside into the Garam Seath waterway. And once again, we are alone with Varn here, so we will have to be facing the enemy encounters uh, solo for the time being. So first things first, there's a save point. We're going to use it, of course. Once we've saved, we're going to head up the stairs here, and this will take us into the next part of the dungeon. And this is quite a linear dungeon. There's obviously enemies scattered about now, which will be located on the map. But there's also an opportunity to grab some treasures as well. So I'll try and point those out for you as we go along. Just watch out because these things like to lead you towards other enemies. Which obviously makes things a little bit trickier. Enemies that run away can be quite frustrating. Is that thing not dead yet? He is now. There we go. Right, so in all of these alcoves, the nooks, the crannies, we can find treasures to loot. Or have the chance to find treasures to loot. I guess we should say it that way. Gill, potions, you name it. We can collect it. Possibly. Going to have to be prepared to heal up, I think, in a minute with one of our lovely potions. In fact, let's say there's no time like the present. We've got 37 of the things. I'm trying to make the most of them. Wow, these rats are flipping irritating, aren't they? It's like, please come back. Right, there we go. Oh, level up as well. What are we now? Level 4? Level 4. 156 health. Wonderful. Anyway, we're going to head across to the side here because there's no other treasures down the southern part of that area. But as you can see, there's certainly some around here. An antidote. Okay, and another treasure here. A broadsword, which we can't really do anything with because we don't have the licenses yet. See? Not that it would have made much difference. It's no actually, not actually any stronger than the weapon that we're using, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. 
And then there's one more treasure, I believe, that can be found. Let's head this way. Just in that alcove, which you can see on the east-hand side there. Whoa, where's that thing gone? We'll wait for it to come back, I guess. By the way, when you're targeting, it actually shows on the map the enemy that you've targeted. Just to make things a little bit easier. On the mini-map, that is. So before we head to the next area, I did mention there was a chance of an item spawn. And there it is. 60 gear. Can we fall down here? No. Nope. Job done. And at that point, we can basically head across into the next area. Where it should be pointed out there's some tough new enemy encounters. So we're going to want to start off, I'd imagine, perhaps just throwing a potion on to heal. But we'll see how we get on. Because I want to try and, as I say... No, we're going to heal. There's a lot of enemies there. I was going to say make them last, but we've got enough. Come back. Is he going to run away? No, oh, it's a brave one. I like it. These flying fish, by the way, that you see, which are the new enemies I was talking about, are challenging, but if you can take them individually, they're not too challenging. But the problem is they can easily appear in pairs, as you can see is the case here. If we can try and catch them off guard one at a time, then we should be able to finish them without too much trouble. Keeping an eye on health totals here. In fact, I'd say at that point, it's potion time. Come on, Van, we need to kill this thing. And then finally, the Ichthon. Another potion. There we go. How much damage do they do? Still, they do give you the experience as well, I guess, which is always a bonus, isn't it? And then we're just going to continue to head across here. Let's just go for this rat first, since it's right next to us. At least it was. Gonna slow things down a bit because things are getting a little bit uh, chaotic, aren't they? All these critters and that are really nibbling on us quite strongly. So we'll just take care of these before we speed things back up again, I think. Parry, that's a bit mean. Right, all those windstones and everything we're collecting, we can just sell later on. So just think of them as gill more than anything. Come on, little fella. Okay, he wants to run off. I'm not going to chase after him that badly. But at least we've already seen we're levelling up, so... It's worth it killing these things. And he's down. Right then. So before we head up the stairs, which we'll have to in a moment, we're just going to head round here. There's a chance of an item spawn. An aero moat. Interesting. Let's just throw a potion on before we go any further, actually. And I believe up here, there's a chance of another chest thingy. 
This one contains a javelin. Well, it did for us anyhow. I guess it doesn't have to. Right, now how are we going to take care of these because they hurt? Seem to be split up at the moment, so let's see if we can take them on one at a time, shall we? As long as you can split them up, you should be able to manage them. It's when they attack with uh, others in the group that things get a little bit tricky. And the reason I'm coming around here is because there's another treasure. Though we do have to come back to these stairs afterwards. Now can we attack this thing that seems to be flying over the way here? Come on little fella, come and fly back. Is he coming? Yeah, of course he is. Right, and here's that treasure I was talking about. And now it's back to the stairs. And just try to make sure I get my bearings here. We want to go this way. I'm just going to slow things down a bit for the enemy spawns, which are no doubt uh, around here. Grab the treasure. Potion. And if we head down south first, there's another treasure, and then we can leave this area at last, once we've looted. And then we get the opportunity to climb the stairs, or to continue grinding, I guess, if that's what we want to do for a little bit. Uh, but we may as well climb the stairs, and then the next option will be just to confirm that. We're going to say, yes, please do. Righty ho. So we just got introduced to two new characters at that point, which we'll be um, see more of very shortly. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and activate the urn here, and the reason for that is it contains a useful map. The map of the Royal Palace of Rabanantri. And, uh map is now complete for the area and as you can see the overlay has also updated very useful but folks we've got a save crystal here so it seems like a good opportunity to take a break for a bit i hope you've enjoyed watching if you have let me know in the comments section and please do come back soon we'll continue on as we make our journey into the palace here so thanks for joining me today take care and i'll see you soon for more final fantasy 12.